Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, expressed deep frustration with her Republican colleagues, stating they don't deserve to maintain their slim majority in the House next year. Green criticized fellow Republicans for collaborating with Democrats to pass a temporary spending deal aimed at avoiding a government shutdown, a move she sees as a betrayal of conservative values. I share the anger and frustration, and I don't think Republicans deserve to be re-elected to hold the majority, Green declared, urging voters to support former President Donald Trump to ensure GOP control of the White House. She described the upcoming November election as a nasty double-edged sword, emphasizing the necessity of controlling the House to prevent Democrats from rewriting the tax code in January 2025. Green's remarks highlight internal divisions within the Republican Party, especially regarding Speaker Mike Johnson's, Republican Louisiana, leadership. Johnson has faced backlash from hardline conservatives after relying on Democratic support to pass key government funding legislation including a three-month continuing resolution that saw more Democratic votes than Republican. Other GOP members share Green's concerns. Rep. Tony Gonzalez, Republican Texas, suggested that Republicans might lose their majority due to insufficient action on voter concerns, while Rep. Chip Roy, Republican Texas, lamented the lack of significant accomplishments to campaign on. Rep. Andy Biggs, Republican Arizona, echoed these sentiments, stating, We have nothing to go out there and campaign on. It's embarrassing. As all 435 House seats are up for grabs in November, with 42 considered competitive, the GOP faces an uphill battle to maintain its majority. The internal criticism from prominent Republicans like Green underscores the challenges ahead as the party seeks to unify and present a strong front to voters.